Europe is home to some of the world's most visited attractions and amazing natural landscapes. With a population of about 748 million, Europe is an incredibly diverse continent with countries that are truly unique on their own. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the most astonishing finds in Europe. From Britain's Pompeii to a crude oil bath, here are 15 of the strangest things recently discovered in Europe. Number 15. Britain's Pompeii Unlike Pompeii, a thriving ancient city that was destroyed by the wrath of Mount Vesuvius, a similar settlement in Britain was just a few months old when it burnt down. The remains of the ancient village were found in Whittlesey, Cambridgeshire, and because of its similar fate, it was dubbed Britain's Pompeii. The people living here seemed to have been wealthy, considering they were living in the Bronze Age. All of them had houses and settlements, and they were comfortable for people living 3,000 years ago. How this settlement burned down is a mystery to this day. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Babylonian Tablet This Babylonian tablet has been housed at the British Museum for many years. Only when a curator examined it closely did we realize that this 3,500-year-old Babylonian tablet contains one of the earliest and oldest known depictions of a ghost. In case you're wondering how ancient people pictured ghosts and spirits, just take a look at this. The image here shows a figure of a male ghost being led to the underworld on a rope by a woman. Aside from the drawings, the tablet also bore the inscription, Don't look behind you. Spooky. Apparently, this clay tablet was a guide to exercising ghosts. In case you're curious, you need to make a figurine of a man and a woman, two vessels of beer, and at sunrise, speak some ritual words, and finally, never dare to look behind you while performing the ritual. This one in particular seems to be a tablet made for a woman who is being plagued by her dead lover, and so she consulted an expert to send him off to the underworld. Number 13. Bronze Age Warfare Some 3,300 years ago, a horrifying battle unfolded on the banks of Tolens, Europe's oldest battlefield. Around 1,200 BC, hundreds of men fought and lost their lives in this very place. And to this day, we have little knowledge as to what really transpired in the battle and what prompted its beginning. No one knows which people fought in Talens. No one knows if it was just a very large family feud or a battle between two settlements. Recently, we've discovered 31 bronze objects in the river, about 1,000 feet away from what researchers suspect was the starting place of the battle. These objects may have been washed away by the river as the fight raged on. They found leather bags, a wooden toolbox, knives, bronze fragments, bronze cylinders, and other bronze ornaments. You would think that these items would help archaeologists, but these items just led them to be more puzzled. To this day, no one knows about the identity of the skeletal remains found on the banks of the river, or the reason that led to this miserable discovery. Number 12. Secrets of Stonehenge Stonehenge is one of the most popular archaeological sites in the world. It was built by people 4,000 years ago, and it's become Britain's claim to fame ever since its discovery. This archaeological site has been one of the most mysterious on the planet, but it seems like it has more secrets to share. Recently, archaeologists found ancient pits near the huge megaliths, rivaling the wonders of Stonehenge. Since 1916, archaeologists have claimed that there are some holes lurking beneath the area. They suspected that they were just small sinkholes and thought nothing special about them. But after using ground-penetrating radar, it was revealed that the holes were something more important. Each of the holes is about 16 feet deep and spans 65 feet across. 20 of these holes have been found by archaeologists. So far, researchers think that they may be part of one of the biggest Neolithic monuments in Europe. There's a chance that these holes were dug by the builders of Stonehenge to properly measure the distances and shape of the pits. There's also the chance that these holes signify something more divine and abstract. Maybe they didn't have any practical purposes, but instead, they symbolize something else. The real purpose of these holes remains an open question. Number 11. Roman Era Statue Heads In Greek mythology, the goddess of love and beauty Aphrodite and the god of wine and ecstasy Dionysus had a brief love affair. Perhaps that's the reason why archaeologists found the ancient statuary heads so close to each other during a dig in the ancient city of Vizanoi, Turkey. The ancient city is known for having a rich history and for being a treasure trove of ancient Greek and Roman artifacts. The earliest settlement in the location dates back to the second millennium BC. The statue heads of Aphrodite and Dionysus were both made of limestone, 
with a goddess head measuring 19 inches, while Dionysus' statue head measured 17 inches tall. To this day, archaeologists are still examining how the statue heads got separated from their bodies and ended up so close together. Number 10. Medieval Mass Grave In 2021, archaeologists digging near a medieval castle unearthed two mass graves. Studies show that they're the remains of Christian soldiers slain during the Crusades. The bodies found belong to at least 25 young men and teenage boys. Radiocarbon dating indicates that they died between the 11th and 13th centuries. This is just one of the many examples of the bloody history of religious wars. Many of the remains had signs of injuries like stab wounds and slice wounds from swords, axes, and other weapons. There were also signs of blunt force trauma. Some of the skeletons even showed signs of blade wounds to the back of their necks indicating that they had been beheaded. One belt buckle was found among the trenches, and it indicated that the soldiers were Frankish and came from a region that is now known as modern-day Belgium and France. Usually, those who died brutally in the Crusades would be burned and would be left to rot. But this time, these soldiers were buried, most likely after a higher-up ordered it. One theory suggests that King Louis IX of France himself ordered the burial of these unfortunate soldiers. The French king was one of the most celebrated rulers of his time, and he led two invasions into the Holy Land in the 7th and 8th Crusades. In honor of those who fought for him, the king himself personally took part in burying the rotting corpses in mass graves. Number 9. Weird Panda Today, pandas only live in the temperate forests in the mountains of southwest China. These cute black and white creatures are on the brink of extinction, and many are working hard to preserve them for the following generations to get a chance to see them. But did you know that a weird relative of this animal once roamed Eastern Europe about 6 million years ago? A team of archaeologists found teeth fossils in Bulgaria's Serenda Gora mountain range. The teeth include an upper carnassial tooth and an upper canine. After careful analysis, they found out that it belonged to an extinct bear similar to the giant panda. Named Agriarctos nikolovi, these extinct bears thrived in Europe during the Miocene epoch, which lasted until about 5.3 million years ago. These ancient pandas have teeth similar to their modern kin. However, theirs were much weaker because of the lack of large bamboo plantations on the continent. Researchers believe that these ancient panda also had a vegetation diet, but it consists of something softer other than the robust and woody stems of bamboo. Did you know that these cute and clumsy creatures are actually capable of being ferocious beasts? The thing is, they just evolved not to do it. You see, if they wanted to, pandas could eat meat. Their digestive systems are capable of processing it as part of their diet. But despite this evolution, pandas refuse to eat anything else but bamboo. All day, every day. It's their favorite thing on the menu. It appears that these bears decided that bamboo would be their staple meal because it was abundant and they didn't really have to compete with other animals for it. Some people even question how these animals survived up to this point. But I guess if you're a cute creature, humans would naturally want to preserve your population. Number 8. 200,000 Year Old Artwork Between 160,000 and 220,000 years ago, two children left behind their hands and footprints in the perilous mountains of Tibet, and it's now known as the oldest artwork on the planet. These markings are known as parietal art, a term that refers to different types of prehistoric artwork such as paintings, rock carvings, and ancient sculptures. Amazingly enough, it seems like the children didn't leave these markings by accident. Just like the cave art and other markings left behind by our other predecessors, these were intentionally left behind for future generations to see. These prints were different from those left behind by simple walking, jumping, and running. Archaeologists argue that these ones look more deliberate similar to how young children of our time would leave their handprints on walls or their footprints in fresh cement. Based on the size of the prints left behind, these ancient artists could have been a child who was 7 years of age and another about 12 years old. I guess art has been deeply ingrained in us even in ancient times. Number 7. Tohala Witches Well Located in the small village of Tohala, this disappearing natural geyser is known to flood the entire place after heavy rains. Of course, many people back then attributed it to witchcraft, and its name stuck to it ever since. The Witch's Well is a prime example of a karst spring. This formation is an opening in the ground from which karst groundwater flows onto the surface. It's something completely natural, and it happens in other parts of the world. But in a period where the whole continent of Europe was unstable, many things were often blamed on supernatural things, including witches. 
Whenever this natural spring would flood the entire area, people blamed these historical villains. The story goes that witches would gather down in the well and whip each other with branches. This practice would often lead to a disaster, which caused water to drown the entire village. With that being said, you wouldn't really want to stand out or be too different back then, or you just might be accused of being a witch. I have to say that even though I know this naturally formed on its own, there's something eerie and unnerving about wells in general. Number 6. Hill of Crosses Crosses here, there, everywhere. Here you can see huge statues, rosaries, and other religious symbols. This site arguably has the most crosses in one place. This is the Hill of Crosses, located 12 kilometers north of the small city of Shiuli, Lithuania. As the country's pilgrimage center, hundreds to thousands of people visit this place annually to express their devotion. Many people are moved to tears when they visit this place. After all, it's a place where many people go to show their faith. However, there are also some that feel something strange in this place. The origin of the Hill of Crosses is unknown. No one knows how thousands of crosses ended up there and no one knows which individuals left behind the crucifixes. Stories telling the history of this place date back to the 1850s, but some people think that the first few crosses here were left behind by the mourning relatives of the victims of revolts against the Russian regime. In 1831, the Tsar ordered people not to honor the dead. The victims weren't given proper burials, but after the Virgin Mary allegedly appeared in an apparition, many of the victims' relatives placed crosses and other religious icons on this one place. In 1961, the Hill of Crosses naturally fit into the crosshairs of the regime. The entire site was bulldozed and burnt down by the authorities. And even as people tried to rebuild it back, it was destroyed four more times. The locals in their devotion would fix the site at night, bravely standing up for their beliefs. In 1990, the country finally gained independence from the Soviet Union, and the people continued to visit and sometimes erect crosses on the hill. To this day, the site is still protected and considered one of the most important places in the country. Number 5. The Silent People It's your first time visiting Europe and you've found yourself in a remote part of Finland and you suddenly see this. Over a thousand scarecrows, all dressed differently, standing in a large patch of land. Now this is definitely spooky. These scarecrows are called the Silent People and you can find them along Highway 5 about 30 kilometers north of the sleepy town of Suomasalmi in the northeastern region of Finland. This installation was the brainchild of artist Rayo Kela. Do you have any theories as to what is the meaning of this creepy art? Well, the artist refuses to give any explanation or to elaborate on why exactly they did this straight out of a horror movie attraction, so we're left to ponder its meaning ourselves. Some people claim that the scarecrows represent those who lost their lives during a brutal fight between the Finns and Soviet Russia from 1939 to 1940. Regardless, almost no one stays long enough to observe the scarecrows because some of them will send shivers down your spine, especially during dusk. In fact, several people who visited the site claim that they always feel as if someone was watching them when they visited the lifeless human-like figures. Creepy. Number 4. Poop Buckets this might just be the stinkiest discovery ever. Archaeologists found barrels while excavating the medieval town of Odense, Denmark, and they're filled with smelly, putrid excrement. What do you think 700-year-old poop smells like? Apparently, it smells incredibly awful. The poop buckets were in incredibly excellent condition, and surprisingly enough, they became the highlight of the excavation. We only have one reason as to why we would even bother excavating these excrements. It's because by examining and analyzing this medieval town's communal toilet, we get to learn more about what they ate. Initial results of the research indicate that raspberries were quite a hit for the people of Odensa in the 1300s. Aside from human waste, archaeologists also found small fragments of moss, leather, and fabric, which basically served as ancient toilet paper. The poop is just a part of this huge discovery. The barrels are also incredibly important, not only for containing the centuries-old poop, but also for retaining information about the people that lived before. Researchers discovered that before the barrels were used as poop storage, they were most likely used to transport goods and to store fish. One of them even still has the owner's details. So how did these containers stand the test of time even when they're containing waste? People back then made sure that they wouldn't leak by tying them together and packing them with clay. Researchers also found a system of pipes at the bottom of the structure. I guess they really made sure that the vessels wouldn't leak. 
After all, I don't think anyone back then would want to clean pounds and pounds of stinky waste. Number 3. Sandy Borg Massacre It's not uncommon to find ancient jewelry, especially on sites of former settlements. However, the excavation by a team of archaeologists quickly took a macabre turn when they discovered bodies among the cache of jewelry. They unearthed hundreds of human remains, including children, on the shore of Oland Island, off the southeast coast of Sweden. As the archaeologists continued the excavation, the skeletal remains they found painted painful and horrifying pictures of death. Many of them were killed using a sword, knife, and club. The suspected chieftain of the village looked as if he fell in an open fire and burned to death. In his mouth, they found sharp teeth, which could have been left by the ruthless killers of the villagers as an insult. Based on things they found in the village, the attack had been stealthy, and the villagers had no clue as to what would come upon them. There were still traces of meals and cooking pots being used moments before they died. The spine-chilling discovery is named the Sandy Borg Massacre. Aside from ending the lives of everyone in the village, whoever attacked them seemed to have no other motive for doing so. The jewelry and coinage were all left behind, as well as the settlement's livestock and other valuables. So why exactly were the people of Sandy Borg attacked? There's a chance they could have been a victim of a group wanting to show off their influence and power. It just so happened that they became the target of a ruthless group at a time when Europe was unstable and turbulent. Number 2. Cursed Athenian Jar Magic, curses, and witchcraft have been things people are interested in even in ancient times. Egyptologists, for example, have all heard about the curse of the pharaohs, a sinister spell that would cast bad luck and death upon anyone who tries to disturb the eternal chambers of the king. But did you know that there are other forms of ancient curses? In 2021, archaeologists stumbled upon a 2,300-year-old ceramic jar. This in itself is an incredible discovery, but what matters more is what's inside the vessel. When the researchers discovered what was inside, some of them probably wished that they never looked. The jar was filled with the bones of a dismembered chicken, and most likely the malicious intent of many people. What they found was no ordinary ceramic jar, but a 2,300-year-old cursed jar. This is evidence that during ancient times, several people attempted to perform magic, although it seemed like they were focused more on casting sinister curses than anything else. It appears that the jar was used to paralyze and kill about 55 people in ancient Athens. How do we know? It's because there are names inscribed on the surface of the jar, accompanied by other malicious words. Archaeologists claim that two people seem to have written the names on the jar. Their motive and whether the curse was effective or not are both unknown. I guess they were incredibly mad, which drove them to make such an elaborate curse. Luckily, nothing bad happened when archaeologists opened the 2,300-year-old cursed vessel. Number 1. Crude Oil Bath Soaking in wine, tea, and even coffee isn't really unheard of. But did you know that in Azerbaijan, some people bathe in crude oil? Azerbaijan is a transcontinental country, sitting between the boundaries of Eastern Europe and Western Asia. It's the home to many wonderful attractions. But one of the most astonishing things they offer is the chance to bathe in black gold. Since 1847, the country is hailed as the place where the world's first oil well was dug. They have a plentiful supply of crude oil that many other countries are jealous of. One town in the country named Naftalin, located about 330 kilometers west of Baku, offers a healing crude oil bath. I don't know about you, but that doesn't sound very pleasant to me. However, this crude treatment has been around since the 6th century, and many people testify to its healing capabilities. If you don't mind being covered in oil, you might want to give this a try. Many claim that it isn't as bad as it sounds, and the consistency of the oil feels like you're bathing in chocolate. You also won't smell the usual pungent odor of oil, and you'll feel slight tingles on your skin as you soak. Just don't make the mistake of falling asleep, or you'll end up having a mouthful of murky crude oil in your mouth. What are the benefits of naphtalin oil baths that make them so attractive? For one, these oil baths can allegedly cure 70 diseases and kill a huge array of viruses, bacteria, and fungi. It also allegedly helps cure neurological and skin disorders, and even impotence. But take these claims with a grain of salt, because the benefits and safety of this murky bath are still debatable. Bathing in naphtalin isn't for everyone, but if you're one of the few that's brave enough to take a dip, go right ahead. So what do you think of these discoveries? Which one do you think is the most interesting? And do you know any other mysterious finds in Europe? Let me know about them in the comments below.
Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.